Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to a Minecraft project, my Minecraft Let's Play, where I am trying to complete all the advancements in Minecraft that it has to offer, but at the same time, developing a beautiful house and a beautiful home. Now, in the previous episodes, we have done some serious, serious work to the point where we have got full netherite. We've got god tier tools and, and maybe not so much the hoe. We really need to get around to replacing that because if you don't remember in the last episode, I died and I pretty much lost everything. I'm tempted to just put one in between this gap here. I'm going to do it. <laughs> what? Intentional game design? What? what do you mean? <laughs> but alas, I managed to get everything back and I'm feeling productive. I feel like I've got all the tools to be able to build and do whatever I want. And like I said, you know, like if we ding dong the bell, um, I, I, I have got this ability in this world, you know, to just complete everything really quick. Like, for example, jump into a honey block and break your fall and complete all these advancements. But what I feel like we haven't done enough of in this in this series is develop our home and i really loved it at the start look we're making everything look clean and fancy and nice and i'm currently sleeping on the floor which is just uh this is just despicable really look look my my, my dog look at this my dog has an entire bedroom that is so much cleaner and smarter than mine and i'm literally sleeping on a mattress on the floor and this this was supposed to be a skylight of epicness for you to be able to look out onto and it's not really that epic is it so yeah today we're gonna get shit done now, before we actually carry on and get into what we need to do, as you guys know, in the previous episode, I did die, uh, and I lost a bet with you lot. And the bet was for 500 wacky dollars, uh, $500, that if I died, um, one lucky person who left a comment and was subscribed to the channel does indeed win the cash bounty on my head. So, uh, I'm going to say this right now, congratulations to Bruno Rashford, who just left a comment, like I said, I was going to pick someone at random, and he said, mate, I'm 24 this year, and this series has made me happy, original Micro Project vibes, and I love to see that, love to hear that, and I'm glad people are enjoying it. But as you guys know, um, I kind of threw away the whole, oh, if I die, the, you know, the bets are off, like, I'm sick of dying, I've lost £1,500 on this series so far, and I'm not that impressed with it, but I am indeed going to go into my resource pack, and I'm going to put back on the hardcore hearts, which means, that's right, if I die from here on out on this series, there will be another $500 on the line. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button, because if I die, there's a high chance and likelihood, which I'd like to say there's not because I've got God tier stuff now, then you may indeed bag yourself when I die, if you comment, the chance of that cash, cash money. I don't really intend on dying. That's not the point of this series. It's there as a um, a deterrent for me to not die. Therefore, I'm not giving away money. But as this series goes on, I keep dying and I keep losing money. So I'm not too best to please myself. But anyway, uh, it, it, as they say in the biz, it is what it is. Let's get a good night's sleep in on us. We'll re right, my house is about to bloody blow up and explode right now. So we just, let's get a good night's sleep. Let's feel fresh. Let's hope the weather clears up. Am I right in seeing? That the ding dong long legs is. Ah, here we go. Is it called? Oh, sorry, not called ding dong long. Not ding dong long legs. Derek, thank you very much for the gift. I appreciate it. And I just want to point something out. I don't know if anyone knew this, but I'm going to show you something. Hey, okay? get ready to leave a like crate. If you didn't know this was a thing, leave a like crate. You know when you look at an Enderman and he freaks out, right? And you know he's going to attack you and kill you. Or well, in my case, kills me, right? Did you know that you can just exit the game, load it back up? Watch this. He's no longer. He's no longer aggressive. So. Derek Longlegs can continue to be our friend. All I've got to do is make sure I look at him, I piss him off, I disconnect and reconnect. And hey, presto, Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. Well, we are onto a good end. Wait, did I just look at him again? Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, right. Well, maybe you should look away from him before you reload your will. But yeah, I, I managed to figure that out today. So we won't have to kill Derek, hopefully, and that's going to be good. But we can now move on to, uh, on to our next feat, which is the skylight. I've got a little list um, today which says skylight, side door, and back entrance. Because I said, um, you know, we've been doing all this like nether adventures and dying every five seconds and working on getting gear. I wanted to do some building and some upgrades to our actual world. So I'm thinking uh, this is exactly how we're going to do that. So I think today we're going to start off with the skylight. And that is uh, really simple. I'm going to expand uh, this whole area here. Now, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go through the center uh, because that glass hole there is the center. So are we going to do this? I, I don't know how wide. But let's, let's look at this. This is this is why I'm, I waited until I had like the god tier tools because now I can just like absolutely burr through everything super, super quick. Right. So if we've got one here, we've got one there. Let's do it on this side as well like that. Into here. I'll actually do it like a three. 
three by three. Nice little three by three over the central point, and this will let in a nice little bit of light. So let me go ahead, clear this out, and you can say, oh, Tom, that's a nice skylight, that is. It's just like that. Beautiful skylight. Um, now, I don't know whether this determinedly classes as a skylight or, no, big hole. I think a skylight is supposed to be a small window, but instead, I, I got a bit carried away and just hollowed it all out, but I think it looks good because it lets a lot of light in. It has made me think, is this complete? Is this thing off, off Oh no, I've just, I've just not removed the box. I was going to say, I, I've just realized that this is all totally not symmetrical and I've ballsed everything up. But if I remove, if I remove, if I remove, remove this, now I think it's symmetrical in the purpose of it does what it says on the tin. And that is, it lets light in from the sky. Now, what I'm also thinking of doing is before I actually lay out how I'm going to do the glass to this, I'm tempted to, um, I, like, tear the ceiling up so as you can see how we've like done the stairs like that as like you know a gap and then it goes up and then i'm thinking of doing basically another boundary around the entire thing so what i'm thinking of doing is like say if i if i actually put that one back would be to like lift that one up and then lift this one up like that so you know it staggers up so we do like a pattern all the way around it and then around it again so it tears and tears and tears and then it tears up to the skylight now Obviously, I don't really want to go revealing uh, the entire top of the mountain because I want to stay hidden. But uh, I think it might look a little bit good. So if I just run around here like this and just do a nice little, like, sort of lip edge of them, maybe I could put some blocks in, like, some other stairs, perhaps, just to see what that looks like. That could work. But I think if we just do this around here for now, just to see what kind of, like, extra depth and texture it gives us rather than this, this flat ceiling, it could look pretty damn good. All right, so I've done, I've done a little bit of clearing out and gone for a bit of a big ceiling height, but at least now it doesn't feel like you're so claustrophobic in. Yes, I need to decide, like, what I'm going to do with this, but I'm thinking I'm deciding on putting a little bit of, uh, you know, you could shocker alert, uh, wood into this of, like, the archway sections. I'm thinking if I can make it look like supports on these angled pieces, it might end up, oh, God, it might end up being a bit too much, but I'm hoping we could potentially make this look like a structure that, like, like that's got like beams in it if that makes any sense i have no idea this is gonna be a lot of placing back and forth but i want again i want this to feel like a bit of a grand area i'm also deciding whether or not at some step wait hang on a minute what the hell who are you so wait you're wait, derek you're derek longlegs who the pissing hell are you derek just because i've come and let you live with me doesn't mean your family gets to stay for free right that is not how this works but um, what I've decided is, like, whilst I'm building this, is, like, do I want to go up another floor? Could we Because we could potentially keep this pretty linear, right? So, like, you come into the house over here, then you're over here, then we go through there, or you go down to here. But I've, I have toyed a little bit with the I idea of uh, going upstairs making a bedroom. Like I said, I've tried making this before, and then my head fell off a little bit. But I think it's because I need to get this room sorted first. And once this is finished, uh, we can piece it all together. I have decided that rather than going through a hole in the glass uh, to get up to where the villager area is and just basically having a back door. I think I'm going to kick through this area and I'm going to keep this quite a big, like, thicker back door in case these chests, like, you know, go poking out. So I'm thinking, like, we go one, two, and then we do another two. So this is, like, where the actual doorway is going to go. Like that. So this can be the doorway exit over here. So I'm thinking we pop out at the end there and then we do another uh, two thick area before, like, we, we like tunnel off into this distance. I, I don't know what's going to be here or what's going to be in any other direction, but I'm just thinking uh, this this might work pretty well. If we just, just for the sake of, you know, not getting distracted doing this, I kind of need to know where the back door is going to be. So let me just try and punch through here real quick and see whereabouts this brings us out to do hopefully a pretty perfectly placed back door um, of which we can build one of them new uh, fast teleport bubbles up top as well as just drum, drop out near this lake area. Spade time. It is spade time. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Because I've said I've always wanted to do like a bit of a, you know, going around the edgeway. We can make a bit of like a nature park here. Like not actual nature park. Just some of that looks nice, all right? So we can like build that up. And this can naturally be our back door. So this this uh, this fills the spot perfectly. We've got our now back door location. And then actually, if we wanted to like, you know, extend this out and stare this down, we could actually make this so we can now integrate into this area nicely. And then we could have a dock down there. So we got like the dock at the front and then we got a dock that like lets us go off and explore and stuff. And you know what? Because I don't really have the space. What was that? I don't really have the space over there to. All right. What is going on right now? Um, I don't really have the space to build a big ship over there. Like I've said, I want to go and pick that ship that's like over there sunken in the distance. I want to try and dig that up and build it back one for one. And this could be the kind of perfect area to do it. And then it actually makes sense. It is though like this actually goes off into like a big ocean rather than, you know, 
just the front of my house. That, for a size comparison, can't really fit much in it rather than just a default Minecraft boat. So, yeah, I think it makes sense to make this on the other side. I also need to get rid of these today. I want to clear them up. Soon as though we've got the big farm, we don't really need these melons around the edges. And a nice little uh, design idea that's just come to my mind real quick is... Oh, this feels... This actually feels so much better. Like, the fact that it's... The ceiling is so vaulted. I think I'm going to lift these up, like straight up, uh, rather than just like uh, in initially extend it from there. I'm going to lift the whole thing up so this layer will go up by one. Um, I think I've got like a little nice design thing I can do here. Because if this is going to kick through, we need to see where like the actual back edge of this is. Because this could al always be. If that's a side, you know, door to the side, this can go off somewhere being something. But this is giving me the vibes that this is the edge of it. It is. So what we could do here, oh, we can make, we can make this saucy. We can make this saucy. So like, you come through. And then, should we say, okay, we don't, I kind of want it too wide. We could do it like, like this. If I place that there, it's too wide, too. And then we do another one. And then, like, all right, mate. <laughs> Let's come and say hello there, did you? All right, and then we do another one here. Magic floating tree. Sweet. And then, we haven't really got the room to do another one. But here, we could do glass, glass. And then when you walk through, you've just got this nice ambiance of, like, you know, looking out into, you know, seeing what we've built. Because I like that about Minecraft. You know, like, if you've built something, you should really, like, show it off and see it on display. So if we do actually make the boat down here really nice, and this big glass windows here, you can actually see through. That's it. You, you know what? I I've just decided I'm going to make this actually a three-wide path. It might mess it up for the door at the end. Or should I make it a four-wide path, then? If I make it a four-wide path, there's nothing wrong with that. But then it just it gives us a bit more of, like of an ooh -la -la when you walk down here. Because, like, yeah, three would be weird because it's just of a single door. Even though it is a back door, though. You could, you could argue that. Actually, let's get let's get rid of this. Make it four wide. And then we can just have a much bigger tunnel leading through. Because everything needs to feel dead small. Like, these are, th these are three wide. And because they're open, it makes sense. But as we've learned with not having doors um, on these entranceways, uh, mobs just like to walk in them. So I think we should definitely try and solve that. And then we can actually maybe put some, like, decoration here to uh, to give it a nice little bit of depth. You know, we like that word round here. We like that word round here. Look at that. We can, like, tear this down. goes to where we need it. And then if we put this dirt back in real quick, it's just a temporary placeholder. One sec. Let me throw you in there. This is where the door is going to go. Give me that. It don't even talk about my inventory being disorganized. I know. I know. I know. Like, we can continue that wall, like we said. This one goes into there. Perfect. Probably put it in the wrong place. I have. Then we can have a nice window areas. We can have a nice high ceiling, and this would look very nice. Now, obviously, in keeping with the house, I'm going to keep it looking nice with wood and a little nice glass panes. Uh, do you know what I'm probably going to need to do? A baseline down here for me to do uh, the wood upside down on, uh, like this. Uh, do I want to make it higher, or is that enough? I think three highs. Three, pretty decent. Yeah, that's a, that's like that's a high enough ceiling, right? I need to change it. I can change it. But I think I think this works. Then should we do every three, perhaps? Like every three? One, two, three. And then can I fit that in? Two, three. Ah. Oops. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Nope. I'm an idiot. Used to be found an issue. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Take that out. Put that there. And then bang, bang, bang. I actually do want this to not be the end of the door. I'm going to make this drop down from here. So this works. This works very well. And then put you here. Thank you. So then it is indeed four wide. I can fill this in with a different decorative piece or it gives it depth, whatever we want to do. Like maybe some shelves, some pictures, some artwork and stuff. And look at this. This is gorgeous. This is abs oh. Uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous. It looks good. I like it. And you know what we could do? You know what I'm thinking? We could do a skylight. We actually, we actually could do a skylight down here. Maybe it's going to end up being too many skylights, but for the, for the fact of like, do I need anything above it? Not really. So I think I think it could actually feature, like, you know, in gaps like this. You know, like a little 3 by 3 skylight here, skylight there, and a skylight there. This could work, unless I decide to put something on the top. But let's put a roof on it and floor it, and then go from there. Because I like this. This is good. Look at it. Look at this. It's added a whole new section to the house, and it works. I've just tried to go to sleep, and it said that you cannot sleep. There are monsters nearby. And uh, it walked over and placed this block in front of me. Thank you. Is this Ding Dong Derek? No, it's not. It's Derek's friend. Well, Derek's not looking real quick. Okay. All right. As long as Derek no, didn't, didn't know that happens, we're good. Derek, your friend's going on. He's, he's going on a walk. A walk. He's going on, he's going on a walk. Yeah, that, that'll do. All right. Let's bring this wood into here. I could do a different texture for this area, but uh, I don't know. I feel like the theme of my house is pretty on point. Like, first floor is the wood and stone. And then, like, we go deeper, it's stone and black stone. You know, it kind of just it kind of just works out and makes sense. So, let's clear this out. Let's get ourselves a new floor down. Do we want... 
Yeah, I think we're going to want wood all the way through here. We can maybe mix it up with some patterns or something. I don't know. Like, kind of like how we did in here. You know, make it up, make it look a little bit fruity. Um, and we do actually have on these, like on the pillars of connection point, we do have them doing this, which isn't a problem. It's a nice little, uh, nice little touch. Kind of breaks up the room a little bit. So let's do that to there. And same here. Like, oh, really? You had to do this, didn't you? And then, yeah, this can be a nice piece and we'll make this all wood. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Bam, look at that. So what I did is, is make holes in the ceiling again. Beautiful. And is that just a random floating block? I think it is. Uh, what I did is introduce uh, the wood as pillars here. So you can see here at these uh, points where they're supposed to join. I'm actually putting in the wood here. So it's got this effect of like being into the room sort of thing. And I think it adds quite a good little... Uh, vibe and feeling for it and then what that allows, allows us to do is either well we could add chains in it which probably it's actually low enough for us to put lanterns on so it makes me question do i have any iron left after the debacle of everything which i do okay so this but then the problem is i don't i don't have bollocks i ain't got i haven't got any coal whatsoever to be able to make lanterns um let me quickly go up top and check if we've got any traders who sell uh, lanterns all right, so it turns out, um, I don't think I left anything of uh, trading value up here, apart from 48 bells. Why I've left 48 bells here, I have no idea. Uh, let me be right back with some me melonies. Well, we can survive this. We can survive this. Yes. <laughs> you thought I was going to die. Hell nah. Hell to the nah. To the nah, nah, nah. I can survive that now. Imagine if for some reason I didn't have my boots on and I could splat it again and lost another $500. That'd be good. Right, let's get ourselves some, uh, that's the wrong pickaxe, uh, wrong axe, sorry, we want the silky wax, the hell's going on? Why are these, why are you not giving me silk, oh, there you go. Yeah, we want, we want the silk touch, because then we can make the absolute stonker donks, don't worry about this, these need to go anyway, let's remove these. You need to go, I know, it's a shame, you've, been, you've done me well, you've done me well, you've done me proud, but I'm sorry, your time has come, you need to go. You need to add to the value of being able to afford me making lanterns, okay? So, listen, hand them over. I know half of these are just flying into the river, by the way. I, w I will go and collect them. Hand them over. Nope, too late. Your time is gone. You've you were good for when we needed you, but alas, all good things must come to an end. <clears throat> My night. Okay, now we get our trades on. Yes, take off me the good stuff. I actually don't need to sell that many, but uh, if we can sell everything that I've got emerald-wise, that leaves us with 45... Which should mean we can actually buy 45 of these. Uh, no, not you. It's you, isn't it? One for one. Beautiful. How many I get? 12. Do you sell them? Nope. You sell them? Nope. You sell them? Yes. Nice. There you go. 24 of them now. 24 in the bag. And do you sell them by any chance? No, you don't. But they replenish, so I'm going to quickly check whether or not he just did his... Uh... Aha, he did. He refreshed, sucker. But you still you still don't do this. Uh, no. And uh, what the hell? You buy ink sacks? You're just a weirdo. Weird man. Weird, weird kind of guy. Weird kind of guy right there. Right, I'm going to leave some emeralds up here. And we're then going to go place these lanterns over at the back of the house. Ooh, I'm not risking landing on that. I don't know if it's a different surface or not. But I'm going to leave these uh, hanging from the ceiling up top. That doorway does not look <laughs> pretty by any means. All right, get me up, get me up, get me up. But I'm thinking like this now. Oh, yeah. That is nice. Look at this. Yeah, boy. We've even got, like, utility blocks. So I'm going to do these, like, every other one. So we'll do crafting table, like, furnace, and then, like, maybe something else over here. I don't know. Just it, just, It's nice to have just, like, some utility ones. I was going to make it so every other one was a utility block. So we could do, like, a Fletcher and a Smith in or whatever. Uh, and then we could sort of something in the middle. Or if we want armor stands, we can. But I like this. And then we've got space for a painting as well. Boom. Your boy's, your boy's uh, stepping up in the game. But what I don't think I do have is to make a painting. Do I need wool? Wait, or is it... Or is it painting. I don't make a painting. Oh, it is wool. Damn it. I don't own a single sheep. And the thing is, with trading the guys up top, they sell me beds, not paintings. So we're actually, we might start a bit of a, of, a, of a sheep farm, but I like this. I like this a lot. Let me just get some automation going on in here. Thank you. I'll take this. I'll take that. I'll take this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put these down. We now have automation out to the back. Now with this, what we could actually do is we could actually Rather than, like, lowering down to this, which I would prefer to do. Like, I think it makes more sense to lower down to it. We could... All right. How are you even out at this time? Is it not way... Oh, okay. Is it not way past your bedtime? Like, th 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 that was ridiculous. We could actually um, build some a form of bridge. I feel like... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Anyone else is... 
Um, uh, no problems to be seen here. I was going to say, has anyone experienced any computer PC issues? Because when I hear that go ding sound, that's never a good one. But we could actually do a bridge coming out of there, nice like viaduct style, into this mountain. And then that actually could lead us into the archway of, you know, like where we're going to do all the villagers' houses. Because, yes, if we go down into it and then it's like an entrance way in, I like the idea of us building into it. So this actually could be uh, a, foresee a foreseeable thing. So, like, if you like, ledge this out like this, give ourselves like a nice little platform and then create uh, aqueduct style bridges uh, into that mountain. I could look pretty cool. Plus, it just adds it just adds another little challenge for us to try and do. Like, I'm not the best at building bridges. So, uh, you know, lighthouses, bridges, you name it, I can't build it. I'll just continue on with uh, adding my little uh, touch here and there and everywhere. Look at this, making some shelves. It's better to make things deeper because then you can just, like, utilize it for something. If we wanted to, we could do... Well, we probably couldn't. I was going to say, we could probably put, like, water elevators here leaving, leading to other things. But I don't think we need that at this time. But this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm going to kick through this now. I've decided this will be the back door. This is going to be the side door that will lead to... Not that we probably won't, actually won't even need the doors here if this is going to be a bridge. Because, like, mobs aren't really... Well, uh, I don't know. Might come off the mountain, but mobs shouldn't really get onto this. But now, this is now safe and secure. That'll lead to, like, the villager area, which is pretty cool and gives us a bit of, you know, like... Rather than everything just being too close. I hate when that feels like that in Minecraft. So, like, we've got to run over there to get to the villager area. I think this should actually uh, boot through to here um, and be our doorway. I could keep it going a bit more because there's all this mountain. But I think we could actually create, like, another, you know, pathway this way. How we've done this four wide, four wide that way for the future. Um, and that could be other rooms that we need. Like, there's going to be a million and six things. Like, a proper brewing station area and all that sort of stuff. Like, that all needs doing. But... Um, yeah, I think we could uh, potentially just go from, like, here, actually stare down this time rather than a bridge, and then uh, just connect out to the bottom here where we can build ourselves a lovely dock. Yeah, this will do. This will do nicely. So let's get rid of all these trees just so we can see what we're working with, and uh, we'll crack on. So this may not be an issue because, like, the zombies can't get in. But I have realized there is an issue. I still haven't fixed this hole in the ceiling, and mobs are just falling in it for the fun of it. So... This is what I've managed to achieve, okay? Um, I, I have a, I've amassed an invitational zombie party at the door, but I've done this, so for future proofing going that way, we can, you know, like, we can make that off to an entrance way. But what I'm thinking, back it up, but bloody hell, are you flying? Ping pong, ping pong. You're dead. All right, what I'm thinking is, you know, I said I didn't want to dig into this and make it look like it was, like, symmetrical. I don't want to do that. I kind of... Right, say the path for this is going to go in that way. We can make that a longer tunnel and a longer corridor. I kind of think I want to make this like an, an outcrop, if that even makes sense as a real word. Uh, and the way by that, I mean, is with using the lush blocks and everything, I want to make this like look like it's the mountain, um, like just like on, a, on an angle like this, you know, tearing out of itself. And then we do like a little bit of a mini pond under there. And then if we get like an axolot sort of thing, we can put the axolot into it. So if we just dig this out into like a, you know, like a little, like a literal pond here. So if we go like into it, just break it in on itself. So it looks like it, like it's its own little uh, feng shui place. Again, I don't want to, I don't want to make it look flat. I want to go it from like here and then go maybe up a bit higher. Dig in a bit, dig in a bit like this. And then it'll feel like, you know, like it's like a cliff face hanging off. You know what I mean? Then we can have some vines hanging off it and stuff like that. And then rather than making it just look like a square edge like that, you know, flat, it looks like a proper epic little cove. I think it could be a nice little quaint, uh, quaint feature for us to uh, introduce, especially with the new lush box. Like, they're ridiculous. They, they make just stone areas look so good. And then we could maybe put like a campfire in there. That looks kind of cool. But yeah, like this. Yeah, look at this. So now it just looks like it's kind of like the, the mountain sort of like hanging off. Yeah, trim this up a bit. Yeah, the mountain the mountain hanging off. We can even go, like, higher up and then deeper in. But then we could still have our path going around the back end. But then we can keep this looking absolutely B-E-A beautiful. Um, and it could be, could be pretty sweet. Could be pretty sweet. Let me get some, uh, get some lush blocks and some water. Let's see if we can make this look good. Okay, I'm getting excited. I think this is going to look really good. All right, pick this all up. I organize my inventory. I can take the space so it doesn't look cluttered. And then, right, we lower this. Uh, you know what you should actually technically do? I've just realized that just from being smart in previous Minecraft years. Should. Should actually. No, 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 no. I was going to say, we should water it first and it'll pour down into it. But I want to put the moss blocks. That's fine, right? Let's lower this in. Make it a nice little outcrop, little watery cave thing. This is great. 
And then let's do this bottom bit as well. And I think we do this. And then this. <laughs> Oop, wrong button, my bad. And then like this. Oh! Look at that! That looks fucking sick! Move this bit. Oh! Oh yeah, I'll take that. And then... Oh. Yes! It looks so good, man. Like, this is literally... It's the best block in Minecraft now. Like, without a doubt. Right, oh no. I needed that one there. My bad. Put you back. Hey, there we go. All right, so look at this. Looking beautiful. Looking swickety sweat. Can I get that? Yeah, I got that stone there. This is cool. All right. Now, we want to add water into it. So it can, we can make it like it's pouring down off, like, from out of the mountain. Like that. Pour it into it. I don't care about this all getting ruined. And, and then, uh, you know, this is where that infinite water sauce would, <laughs> would have come in handy. Damn it! I, I, am, I am right sometimes. But then I my, underestimate my own ideas. Yeah, this is going to look sick. Oh, oh! We could even, then, because we know we've got it pouring out of here like it logistically makes sense, we could have it, like, pour out of here, like, actually looking like a bit of a natural waterfall out. I guess we could actually just break through and make it do that. Uh, back up. Like, we could do that, but, like, if I just do this, then look, then that could pour out of it, and then it could be like, pa Oh, I'm a genius! All right, why don't I just make a, the, let's make the infinite water sauce real quick. Come here. Come up. Okay, one, two. I've got space for this. All right, now give me that. Now give me that bucket back. Yeah. Thanks. There we go. Come looking at me. I wonder if that's uh, Derek. <laughs> Derek just chilling. Look, then we fill this in. Like this. And all the... Oh. Okay, this, that, that plant, might, that plant need, might need to go. Yeah, sorry. You are in a very nice bush, but uh, you're not the bush we need right now. Is it? I don't know. Is that, is that what I just picked up? The Anzalea tree. Where I can put it? Oh. Eh? Well, that one looked well better than you. I want, yeah, flowering. Yeah, get rid of that. I want a flowering azalea. Oh, yeah. Right, and then we fill this in again. And we fill it in. And now I'm starving. Where's all my food? <laughs> I should never, ever be asking where's my food when I have, like, 9,000 golden carrots in there. Like, I have redonkulous amounts. Like, give me that. And then, see, this is why you make it, like, one level. And then you do what you need to do to it. it now, now it's not going to be the same, the right height. Damn it. Um, I'm probably going to have to fill this in with blocks. At least it's all moss blocks now, though. Let me do this all the way over just to make it so it's solid blocks. Yep, like that. And like that. And then we'll destroy them once we've got the water source flowing. You fixed? Oh, nearly. Come on. Fixed. Nice. All right. Then we destroy this. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. I like it. And then we can put some like lily pads in it. Bing bong. Yeah. And then let's knock out a bit of this edge in. And then we could put another one of them in there. Oops. Remove you. Bit, nice bit of edge up. Bit of edge. Bit of edge. And then if I actually bone me all that, does it get the blocks? Does that... No, it doesn't. And that. And can I put one of these down? The, the azaleas. Azalea in the corner. Not a flowering one, but you know, whatever. And then I can actually put down. Bush. Sure, why not? And then, can I... Actually, if I put that back, can I not keep bone meal in that? Oh, I can bone meal inside it. Oh! It's beautiful. Freaking love it. What about this? There we go. Yes, this is great. And then, I haven't got any vines. I can't really put any vines in here just yet. I think I've got them somewhere. But not on me. I could put a bit of a kelp in it. No, it doesn't really make sense. There you go, a bit of kelp. Beautiful. A bit of flicker. Look at that. Wavy like a little flicker. Look at that. And then the water pulls in. Then, you like how I was supposed to be doing a skylight? <clears throat> skylight. I was supposed to be building a skylight. <laughs> oh, well, you know, what happens? But in Rome, right, now I need a moss block. Uh, that is a moss block. Give that. Give it to me. Thank you. This. Put it down. And place you in here. Hopefully I can refund you. Yeah, there we go. By run, refund me, I mean get another block. Okay, now look at that. And there. And do the same backwards. There we go. That's now a moss block. And put that there. Actually, put that in. And then at the back, make it so the water flows out. Oh! I have terraformed this place to look beautiful. Look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I made a water fountain. Very proud of myself. Yep. Let me bow me on that. And then, can I just, can I spread? Oh, you can spread this? Oh, I didn't know you could, I didn't know you could do this on dirt as well. What? Oh, this is cool. 
All right, yeah, the side of this mountain, you're getting a, you're getting a, you're getting a va va boom, man. I don't care what you think. You're getting a va va boom. I like this. So, oh yeah, it looks well more like a, like a, like a, an outcrop now. Oh, this is brilliant. I didn't even know you could do this. Freaking sweet. Fre absolutely freaking sweet, dude. I like it. Yeah, this looks great. Look at it. So it's like here, it wouldn't be growing there because it's got no water going down it. But because it has, it's like given given lease to a new life. Oof. Let's let's run over here and have a look at it from a distance. See if I've done a good job. Okay, I can't really see it from over here. What about from over here? Yeah, this looks great. This looks really, 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 really good. And then uh, I don't know what this entails now for whether or not I'm going to build a path going down here or a bridge. It might just have to be like a twirling path going down looking nice. But this is good. I like this a lot. Should we do a, should we do a lantern as well in here? Just like, boom. Like this. This is too much. Like that. Yeah. That kind of works. Should we do one like... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do one more. There you go. That's fine. And they got like little lanterns. It probably makes more sense to just be sat on the side. Can these blocks that floating go away? You're ruining my feng shui. Yeah, boy. I love this. I love this a lot. You know what I kind of want to do to this then? I don't want to make it just so it looks like the, the path breaks up into the wood. Sort of thing. Like that. And then place dirt down. Not anymore. Yeah, grass blocks. And then bone meal. Back. Oh, no. Let's remove this with one of these. Thank you. And that should just spread to all that, right? Yes! Nice! Look at that, and then we don't even need this. Oh, then. Then. There we go. Look, it could just naturally turn into the pathway. Which looks great. Hell yeah. And then this railing, realistically, being out here now. Even though I like the modern look, probably should be fencing. Yeah, that kind of makes... That kind of makes way more sense. And then a lantern. And then a lantern on there. Yeah, that looks good. We probably could do um, at this stage. What are you doing? No, we could probably could do this here. This is probably a bit more of a shout for over here, like this. Up, over, and then across. There we go. Nice little lantern going out. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous, this is. I like it. Yep. Very good. Very good. Very happy. Now, uh, time to finish what I started. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you bastard, stop jumping in from above. I'm going to glow you with my massive bow. Oh, wow, well, one shot. Get wrecked. Uh, yeah, uh, this, this needs fixing ASAP. Uh, I've raised the roof quite a bit, and I like the height where this is at. I'm tempted to just do one more run around like this. You know, like, like sort of dippy, dippy in vibe like this. All the way around. And then, uh, call it, oh, bollocks. Bollocks, done it wrong. And then call it quits from there. Uh, but it gets a bit complicated when you get to like these places. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this all the way around. One more tear up just so it feels nicer. And then uh, I'm going to put a flat cap roof on this um, with glass. I think. I'm pretty sure. I have managed to get the, the, the ceiling symmetrical either side. There may be blocks in the middle that are, like don't make sense. But don't worry about it. So the way I managed to... Thanks, bro. Appreciate this. Is this ding dong long schlong? What is this? No, someone completely different. Oh, I thought I pissed him off. Right, so the way I managed to do this is rather than this being Lighthouse 2.0, I basically went from the chest thing to the end where the lip is. It goes up. It goes up. It goes up. And then if we go over to here, it goes up, 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 up. And then that's how I symmetrically did this through. Again, it may be a bit different on the edges, uh, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. So this is done, and I'm probably going to fill these in with different blocks at uh, a uh, different time. I'm not too sure what, but I need to work out how I'm going to do the glass on here. Like I said, I am going to raise me up uh, with... Uh, oh, re really? Just really? Right, I'm going to raise these up uh, by one, I think. Because I, I do like the height that they're at, but I'm going to see if it looks okay if I go up one. And if I have to, I'm going to make them thicker like this. You know what I mean? So you just like surround it by one more on the edge. And then bing bong, hey presto, I've now got the thickest pillar in the world. Which, you know what? Upon doing this right now, actually doesn't look too bad. And then it looks like more of a supportive like frame for the amount of weight that it's holding. And it looks okay that. But I might do say like four different styles of them and see which one looks best. Um, and then just see where I want. Because I need a nice little glass cap on here. Thank you. All right, waking up with a present in the morning is just beautiful, but waking up with a view to a kill... Oh, 
with a view to a kill. Let me just remove, 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 remove. Oh my gosh, look what it is revealing! That, I think, is what you... Oh my god, you know what I didn't even realise? Look at that! You can actually see now from when you walk into the house all the way out to the exit. I... I'm a wizard. I didn't realise. Right, look at this! What do you think? Um... Got a little bit carried away, uh, placing the wooden blocks. Potentially don't need these extra ones, but I thought they just looked like they were a bit, like, more support and a bit more oomph. Same with here as well. Raise these up to give it a bit more of a oomphness, um, to which... Got a pretty good idea. Now, I, I've, I'll admit, I've tested it, and it looks good, but let me show you what I'm thinking. You ready? Throw the chains in, and then connect the chains like this, and... Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh my god, that looks sick. That, okay, well, maybe not. Oh, okay, all right, but bloody hell, everything, as soon as, as soon as you guys are here, everything starts going pissing wrong. Look at that. How cool is that? Like, tell me that is not absolutely sick as chips. And on the, maybe, I could potentially connect these, oh wait, hang on a minute, I need some more. I need some more fences, please. I need some more fences in here. Hello, 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 Jackie. All right, give me, give me this, give me some sticks. Give me this, give me that, and uh, give me this, scarabouche, boom, we need some more of these. Um, I'm thinking, oh, actually, you know what, we can actually get rid of this, step into that now, it kind of doesn't look right, does it? Kind of, kind of, you kind of walk into it. Let's throw these over here, because these are like the support beam holders on the edge. Ooh, unless this might look a bit funky donkey with that there. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out, we'll work it out. Maybe I'll raise it? Nah, that's too much. See, there's a lot of, like, back and forth with this, but we could then potentially, on these inside ones... Put them there as the lanterns from the up top uh, connector. Looking very good. Very nice. Yep. Oh, I got it. I oh, I misplaced that one. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I could put even more. Is this going to be overkill? Maybe not because this will actually light up the area and look pretty good. So all on the inside ones. So them ones as well. Throw these here. Throw them in there. And oh my. This looks good. To that extent, I'm going to need a few more chains. How do I even make a chain? Chain. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, how many chains can I make? Okay, not that many. All right, do that. Make some nuggets. Make some chains. I made 13 chains. Okay, let's throw these along here. Nope. It's so weird that you can place them floating sideways. It just doesn't seem like it makes sense, but at the same time, I kind of get it. Place these down. Place these down. And oh my gosh, they look like they're legit. Holding tension to the... I've run out. To the ceiling. Give me, give me another chan. I need another... Wait, what? Oh, gosh. I'm going to need more iron. That, the, the, the last block of iron we've got, boom, is going to make a chan. A ch uh, two chains. Beautiful. Take that back. Thank you. And look at that. Look at it. It's freaking sick. I don't care what you say. Oh, Tommy, look at potato. It doesn't. All right. Put a lot of effort into this. I really like it. Uh, I might put some, like, trap doors. Uh, mix with those. Trap door. Oh, I've got the ability to do that. Oh, Jackie. All right, trap doors. I think if we make a... Okay, maybe we don't need 20. Let's make... Okay, I made, <laughs> I made 20. Uh, we can throw some of these down like this. I'll right, just give it a bit of a uh, bit of oomph, a bit of edgedness to it, so it's not just, like, so much exposed wood. It could look quite nice on the, on the edges like this. Like a this. I like a that. I like a this. And I like a... Like that. There you go. Look at that. It gives it another little thing. And then up here, we could potentially do the same with either like this one here. Oh, that looks quite nice. Uh, oh, there you go. That breaks it up, doesn't it? That breaks it up just a little bit. A little bit nicer. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And then maybe two on either side of this one. Like one there. One there. Leave some exposed. And then one. No. Oh, God damn it. One there. And then one there. And chop that one down. Give it a bit. Give it a bit. And I think we have done an absolutely cracking job. Um, I'm now going to go up top and I'm going to like level out naturally as like a ver uh, as like a like a diagonal line going up that way, that way, and that way, and this way. And then I think it will just like smoothly look really, really good from when you look at it from uh, outside here. I also need to create some sort of back door for coming out to this area because the whole diving through the whole of glass of window I've got right now is kind of redonkulous. But uh, if I come to here and I do this. Oh, do you know what? We um, could actually make it the moss blocks again, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if we just do this, you know, like, kind of like that out, maybe, maybe not to the full degree here, because it is a bit of a bigger mountain area, but for the rest of it, like, from here, and from here, like a so, 
Get rid of the stone. This. Yeah, that can just tear up. And we'll, we'll moss block this one. Then we go like this. Ooh. Trim it away. That's a big freaking tree. Like, are you a grower or a shower? Don't answer that question. I know the answer. Pretty freaking evident. Like that. And then trim this one out as well. Boom, 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 boom. Then I think what it would be quite nice to do with this to try and make this look a bit more natural is I'm going to need a mossy cobblestone block. Or um, a mossy block even. I need this basically. Um, I will do you a trade. Give me that for this. And then for that you can have this. There you go. Great trade. I got what I needed. Beautiful. And then to get back up again, I have to... We, you know what? We should actually make one of these gaps an actual water elevator. It's like go up top. Like that, that should just be the case. Do you know what I mean? Just so it's like a, a teleport to get up to our rooftop garden of sorts of, or whatever it's going to be up here. Like I still don't have a set plan of like what I'm going to do on this area. Especially now that I've got this here, but eh, who cares. All right, let's put that in there. Let's put that there. And this, this might end up looking pretty good. I hopefully it doesn't mess it up because you know like this. Oh, being... uh -huh. <laughs> I'll fix it. Uh, oh god damn it! Why have, I, why have I left so much exposed? What is this about? But I thought from the inside you're not going to see. You know, it didn't really matter. But if you're on the top, you kind of want to look down and look clean, don't you? Fine. If that's the way it must be, that is the way it must be. This is the way. I place it down. Pass back. Pass back. Are we good on that side? Wait. I'm missing one piece of. How did that happen? How am I missing one piece of? What? What the heck? I'm not quite sure how that just happened. Anyway, right, so let's place this down, that, and then boom. Oh, it's going to look sick. Right, give it some back. And then I just need to fill it in with stone, right? And then it'll get back. So let's put one there. Let's say put one there. That, and then go boom. Oh, I just can just click it, can I? I forgot about that. I'll bed. I'll bed. Yep, spread it. Spread it. Come on. Oh, wrong one. I'll bed. There we go. Spread it. Spread it. Nice. It looks very good. It looks very good, yes. I like this a lot. I am very impressed with this. And I think... Oh, apart from that one. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to look like that. My bad. Keep that as a layer of stone. And then... Put that there. We'll put one of them in there as well. I think that was pretty good. And then, Oh, I'm going to need these. And then we could actually... Good shout. We could put some... Wait, what the hell? Did this tree just magically grow? Or was it always just floating here? I'm, 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 I'm just, rather than chopping it down, I'm just going to make it a bigger tree. That's fine. No one needs to understand the science or mass behind that. You're just now officially a bigger tree. But uh, I think this looks good. Maybe we could do something about that stone edge, like if we brought the wood in, like even to here. Like if you think about it, this doesn't need to be there, does it? Like I did say about bringing this out, like you could actually technically do that to there. And then same on each corner. Is this, is this going to mess up the amount of light it's going to let in? Wait, why am I doing this? I've got a silk touch. My... Oh, that's not silk touch. That's why. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to be using this. No wonder I wasn't getting my glass back. Uh, derby, derby, derby. Go like this. And then what if we fill that into like there? I'm just hoping this looks good from down low now. We've not just ruined it. Um, And then I guess we could. Yes, we could. Uh, is it... oh, this... I think this is going to be weird. I do this. We just put... Mm, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I need to farm some of this and put that there. Because we want to keep the stone edge. But do I, though? All right, give me this, this, this. I'll farm some. Screw it. Yep. And it, <laughs> yep. And then, bonk. Like that. Is this going to look weird? I'm hoping not. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Hmm. I, I guess the only thing we could do is remove that stone and replace it with the green stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, that is the amp. That is the way. That is the way for this. Move that. Oh, there you go. I've got another one down. Beautiful. I mean, that one, we don't need one in every single uh, little angle. This looks good. All right, let's just see if it actually looks good from the inside. If it doesn't, then I've just done a terrible job. This. Okay. From the inside. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that stone does look a bit weird being able to see it on the gaps. That looks great. And the big tree over at, get it? Arching it? Arching it? Uh, over it? Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I think we should replace those blocks with uh, some moss blocks. And uh, we'll be on to a winner. This looks really, 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 really good. I'm happy with that. I don't know how I feel about, like, just the, the very open stone ceiling in here now. We could. Do you know what? Ooh! 
Woo! We could actually make this mossy block ceiling. Do you know what I mean? Like, we are actually living in a cave and then, like, really incorporate it. So it's, like, got the drippy vines and stuff. So it feels like, even though, yes, we're in our, like, modern, modern, uh, you know, well, actually, indoors house and shit. Like, we could make it feel like that. But then we could have, like, vines and stuff dripping down. Like, might be quite cool. Could be, could, rather than just make it look so bland, like, we're one with nature. Make some cob co uh, mossy blocks and stuff. It could look really, really good. But from a... Saying what we were going to do today, I think we've done a cracking job. Like, cracking job. Look at the house. Look at the house. It's like 2.0. Okay, I've still, not, I've still not made a bedroom and I'm still sleeping on the floor. But when you walk into here now, this feels so good. My only scary thing is, is that I know loads of mobs are going to spawn in here because I just don't have any lanterns. So potentially with the power of chains and some of these bad boys, we can create a pattern. I didn't see. I got rid of the wood in the walls. Like I said, I was going to go like this. Kind of like going up it. Well, I don't know how I think that's going to look. Uh, it might just end up being too much wood again. But uh, we could really do with some uh, some lights. So let me have a play around and see what I think works. Now you tell me right now. God, that's a bit close. Now you tell me right now <laughs> if this just doesn't make sense. But I kind of like this. Again, a lot of wood. You know, it's kind of like my thing. But I kind of like this. Ignore the fact that there's 9,000 uh, lanterns on display right now. But I'm kind of liking this. So it feels like it's like an architectural structure that would make sense. Like I could even make this like spread off this way. Like it, so it's like a cross arch in the center. So it gives like a pattern to the ceiling, but it kind of makes sense, you know, because it's like we're underground, it's a cavern, it's a cave and it's holding it up. So I feel like a mix of this, like uh, this building over looks pretty cool. And then we, like, again, we could do that one to there if we wanted to. And same on the other side. So I've made this one as an example. I'll finish this off and then I'll do another one as an example over here. And we can decide whether or not we prefer that one or this one. I'm kind of liking this right now. Just if there wasn't that many lemons, because this is a bit ridiculous. No, no, no. You know what I said? Maybe I had too many lemons. Well, maybe I didn't have enough lemons because Chad. <laughs> Chad, I went again. <laughs> That's definitely the wrong side. Chad! Look at this! Let me get rid of these crappy little uh, torches now, which is actually making me realize the area is a lot darker than I thought it was. Look at this! So, yeah, a lot going on. Like, a lot. A lot's going on. But I tried to make it look like a structural frame. Like, almost like, not Victorian style, but, you know, like, Tudor-style big oak timber frames going through it and stuff. And then I decided that I could actually put in, like, these chandeliers. Now, I don't. these don't have to stay, and I could actually just hang individual ones from, like, there and from there, but... I think, I think it looks pretty good. Like, I actually really do. Again, there's, there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot <laughs> of, of lanterns going on here. But I think it looks really, really good. Like, I do like this. Like, it lights up the area. It changes the space. It's like when you walk in here, you're not just like, you know, drawn to like a blank stone ceiling. Like, for example, this is what you're working with. And then you go to this. Like, it's a lot going on. I'll give you that. It is a lot going on. And I couldn't work out whether I wanted, like, the wood facing inwards or facing outwards. And then, like, over here as well. Like, if I if I even want these or do I need this back section, like a, like a spine, which I put some fences on. But I kind of like the look of this. It's, it feels like it's like a structural support. And I think I like it. I, I, I don't know if I've got the mental capacity to do the other side right now. um, Because... Trust me, building a lighthouse is difficult enough that if I'm to try and copy this layout <laughs> on this side, <laughs> I'd come back to the next episode and I'd actually, I would actually be fully, like, bald, uh, which isn't good. But you know what I just realized I need to do? I probably need to put some of these on either this side and that side as well because it looks a little bit bland right now. A little bit bland. But yeah, no, I'm really happy with how this looks. Really happy with how that looks. I kind of think we can... We can we could lose a bit of the wood here, like I do. Like, maybe if I take down, like, say, one chandelier? Like, if I if I took down one chandelier, does that make it so it's not overkill? Even though it's clearly, evidently, entirely overkill. Give me that, give me that book. Give me that, give me that. Is that, come on, how are you not falling? You're scientifically not possible. Give me that. And that. Come on, and that. Right, and then, like, say I did that. Just bring that over and make it look like it's just a support. If I did that. Does that look a bit better? That I, I feel like it does, but then I feel like that's not a grand enough, like... Sh chandelier for the room but i think it it kind of gives your eyes a bit of a break doesn't it rather than being like boom hit by it all it's just like you see it and you're like right okay i just don't know what to replace this stone with like i said i know i been thinking about doing moss like up there but i think it might just be a little too much maybe like crack stone like actual how do i make that 
One sec, do I, do I just do this? Like that and that. Oh, that was bloody easy. Yeah, like that. And then can't I just like incorporate this block into like the building places? Like, I don't know. There, for example. And they're like, one there, for example. And they're like, one there, for example. Oh, this is actually working. Wow. Oh, this is actually making it look kind of textured. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think it was going to... All right. Well, I don't think it was going to be that easy. <laughs> All right. That actually helps quite a lot. But look at this. Then we throw in some... Oh, wait. Have I got... Not... Is it not diorite? Yeah, this one. No. Which one is it? Have I not collected any of it? Not stone. Like, kind of like a weird diorite. It's not gravel. How do you, make... you can make it, right? It's like a block. It's like a block when you go further down. There. What is that? Andesite. 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 No. And this side. How do you make it? There you go. Diorite and cobblestone. Oh, I actually didn't even realize that was a proper recipe you could do. All right. So that and that. Let's me build this. Boom. Oh, I've got loads of it. But then I throw that up into the texture. Look. It just it breaks up the stone that you've got from just looking like this, like, you know, 1D sort of area. Look at it. Look at this, man. Look at this. It's making it look way... It might not, it might not seem it to you guys, but to me, it makes it look like rather than... See, look at this now, even though I've not done too much of it. I'll try, before we make that a fair test, let me uh, get rid of a few more of it, like this, right? Place a few more of these down, like that. And then maybe, like, over here a little bit, like there a little bit. And, eh, 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 eh. There we go. Oh, I can't reach it. Eh, eh, eh. Listen, man. Small, small guy problems, right? That's all I'm saying. Small guy problems. All right? Now look at this. Look how much the texture of that texture of that sheet sheet she, she, but I mean, God, what? look at the texture of that ceiling and look how much better it looks than just that. Like that looks so bland and so plain. Whereas doing this has improved this area so much. Just a few cracked stones. Looks really good. Really like it. I think that's a big win. I think I think we've actually I think we've solved this area. And I don't think we need the second chandelier. I'm gonna throw that in there right now. I don't think we need that to the point where I'm gonna say is do I actually need these anymore? I take these down. Is this? Are, they, are these just going to look a bit bland like that? If I just leave that today, is that okay? Then it just feels a bit more relaxed. Could you know what? We could even potentially get rid of like this like little figure of eight. I've got. Wait, have I built a penis again? Yep, I've built a penis. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. Wait. How, how is it dark in this corner? This makes me think a mob is going to spawn here. So uh, whatever. Right. I like it. I like the uh, Picasso. I like that. I like this. All right. So I say we try and copy this. On that side, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother with the whole like running back and forth trying to do it. Uh, let, I'll just take a picture like this now. Sec. I know I can screenshot, but I'm taking a picture with my phone. It's easy for me to just look at. Uh, I copy this on the other side, and then uh, I think we're gonna have a pretty booming room, me. I think we're gonna have a pretty booming room. All right, so the ceiling's looking pretty good in here. Uh, so this is the one that we've done earlier, and then over here with just the addition of the, these blocks now. We have made some very good progress. I'm just going to put some mossy cobblestone blocks in everywhere. Make it look a little bit nice and like it's leaked in a bit. Not that I've done a bad job as like, you know, securing my ceiling or anything. I just think it adds just a, it's a nice feng shui. Can we incorporate this like down into here? I don't really think we can. Well, I guess we could like in here perhaps. Like down there. Is this, is this work? I'm worried that I'm going to break this like into the wall of legend sort of thing. Yeah, putting some of these into it just adds a bit of a... Uh, Oh, again, we could do it in the ceiling, couldn't we? Oh, we could. Yeah, this actually works. Yeah, we can incorporate this down. <gasps> <gasps> I did not shit myself. I don't know what you mean. I need to remember that I've got him down there and he's my pet and he's my friend, but at the same time, he scares the shit at me every time I see him. Uh, all right, yeah, this is looking good. We've got the underside already up there. Let's put some of these up here. And then let's place one up there as well. Look, so do I want any? I don't know if I want any in the ceiling. It probably would make sense to put one in the ceiling, but I don't know. I don't know just yet. All right. So this is looking good. I feel like this needs a block. Let's go there. And then we don't want to do too much. Don't want to do too much. Maybe some on this side. Do one here. And one like here. Say there. And then there. There we go. Look at that. Look at this. It's like I'm a magic man. With the magic wizard shit. Making it look pretty good. I'm going to put one up there. I regret this one. I guarantee it. There you go. Look at this. It is gorgeous. It looks natural. We've got a flow of light from the ins uh, from the outside in. Bob's your uncle. Panish your aunt. Bing bong. Bish bosh. We've smashed this. We've absolutely smashed this. This is what I wanted to do today. Oh, wait, if I pull up my list, if I pull up my list on the notes, today I wanted to do a skylight. Boom! Nailed it. I wanted to do a side door. Runs over here, runs over here. Boom! Look at this! Tell me this isn't a good side door. 
Crack inside door. This cr uh, okay, maybe maybe the bridge is not done yet, but that, that's for a later date. Side door looking really cool. And back entrance. Oh yeah, or exit entrance, either either. Looks cracking. Do you know what I just decided we could do? Is for here, rather than having this being like wood here, we could actually have this being like moss. Does this make sense? Is this is a bit weird? Or is that, does that work? That kind of works, right? Like we're going from like a path to an outside stone area. And then we could... Because can't you make... Uh, with this block that we've now discovered. Can't I make mossy steps? No, no. Can I, oh, no, I don't want to make more. I need that. Can I not make mossy... I can! We can make mossy cobblestone stairs. So we can actually make this look like a really, really nice feature at staircase. Like going down here, winding down... And then to a nice built-up dock over there. We're going to have to remove some of that and stuff. But I think we should do a dock. Like, you know, like a little port side edge around here. Kind of like, oh, we could actually, we could actually go under the waterfall. So it could go like port side edge under the waterfall dock. And then a small, small lighthouse over there. I think, I think that might like kind of cool. That'd be dope. Go underneath that, that waterfall. That'd be really, really cool. I'll tell you something. I am very happy with the progress. This room feels so much better already. Do I have any vines? I feel like that is something that could really add to the feel. I don't. I haven't got any rem remaining, but I think I've got to grow some. Have I got some down here? Do I put any vines in this area? What? I swear I brought vines. Right, we need to go looking for some vines just to start adding a bit of feng shui, feng shui to all the areas. It's going to ding that bell real quick. Which you should be doing as well if you're not clicking that subscribe button. Click subscribe because as soon as we get some vines up on this ceiling... I think it's going to look way better. And now my, like, OCD is kicking in, like, maybe I need, like, a maybe I need, maybe I need a mossy, mossy stone block there. Oh, that's wood. Okay. Well, this is, this is a sign for me to stop it. Maybe a block there, or maybe a block there. But I think with this done now, wait, can I take out these glass panes? All right. I know I can't get in and out this way yet, because I haven't got a back door. But we can seal that shut. Job done. And we can officially seal this. Because I do have a side door. So I have a back door and a side door installed. That I wanted to do. Skylight side door, back entrance. I've bloody done it! I've actually stayed on task for once. Rather than falling apart. The only thing I'd like now is if we just run out and go find some ship. Um, we can make some paintings uh, for in that hallway. I'm a little bit dumbfounded right now. Because I can't seem to find anywhere where I've left my shears. Now I know this sounds ridiculous. And you could say, Tom, just build a new set. I can't build a new set. Can oh, I found him. Ignore me. I'm going to say, out of everything I looked for, I thought they were in the chest near the dog. I'm running all over the place looking for them. I'm like, can't find shears to save my life. Lo and behold, they were in that chest. Um, We are going to potentially be smart here and bring back uh, a sheep so we can get our mass humpage on. Like, we've got the cow farm with mass humpage, which is great. Uh, but we could do with actually bringing two sheep back. So even though we could breed them, let's bring two back to our... Uh, abode. Uh, not for us, of course. That'd be weird. No, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to make the joke. I'm not even going to make the joke. I believe there's been a sheep for like the past 19 years just swimming over here. Now, unless he's despawned, he might be able to save his life. I think he drowned. <laughs> I found him. I found him. I was going to say, there's been sheep cruising all around this island. It shouldn't be really that difficult for me to find. What the hell's that? Wait, is that the starting chest? That was the starting bonus chest that I had on the island, and I never knew where it was. Because when I started it, I ran over to the island and was like, oh, Lonely Island. I forgot about this. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep that there as a little memory. And, oh, perfecto. Come with me now. You guys are going to have a great life. You're going to be the hump, hump, humperl, stiltskins of the, the, cat, the sheep of the cows. So, yeah, we're just going to keep breeding you. I'm going to get enough wool for days. Um, I'm sure there's a, an automated system I can set up with, like, a dispenser that senses that they've grown and it chops them or something like that. I have freaking no idea. Do you know what? I might as well whilst we're on the, on the road. Hey, what's going on? Not want to come with me? Do you not want to continue the mass humpage? Eh? Come on, we'll ignore the spiders. I can't bother fighting them. If I swing my if I swing my axe at... Oh, okay. Well, no. Alright, look what are you doing. You're ruining my day. Come with me. Come with me if you... I was going to say want to live, but the chances are you're going to die, you're going to die more if you come with me. So come on, risk it for a biscuit. Come on, risk it for a biscuit. I'll, I'll take them home. Now, this is going to be very temporary measures, but because I like quite literally don't have anywhere else to put you guys, I'm just going to put you here, which to me looks like you can go further enough to actually graze, which is fine. And then I can still share you. So um, I'm going to call you Alan. 
Yeah, because Alan Shearer, <laughs> get it? So I think it's a footballer. Alan Shearer, um, and then someone else. I would give you a name tag, but I can't do that. I don't know if those guys up there sell one, but you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I haven't got you one. So uh, we got Alan, 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 and Shearer. Yeah, Alan and Shearer. Yeah, Alan and Shearer. I like that name. That's great. I'll, I'll find you a name tag eventually. Okay, so we've got a whopping eight wool from that. Do I have any? I don't think I've got any wood supplies left now after all that. No, we can make sticks out of this though. I can hear the mobs. I can hear the mobs trying to get in, but they can't quite get in because it is a sealed unit. I think I might need some uh, that other chandelier back just because the light source around here seems to be uh, struggling a little bit. But I'm now going to make a painting. Where is it? Painting. I can make six. That's more than enough. All right. Go in here we do. Good place that. Oh, where's my... The bastard. Right, I'm actually going to bring back for a second. There we go. And that is enough to do exactly what I need. And then bang. Wait, I thought there was like a... I thought you could do like a three by three one. What is this? What is this? Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying to me? Okay, hang on a minute. All right, so how do I... How do I make it just do the... No, how do I... What am I doing? What am I doing? Right, okay. If we can't do it like this, I thought you could do like a three by three. If that's not the case, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll try and do like a banner going down, banner going down, banner, no, banner going down. I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do this. Okay, so I'm not exactly happy with the paintings that we got, not going to lie. Uh, they're pretty stupid to the point where I think I actually might uh, customize the texture pack with something a little bit nicer. Um, uh, this one, okay, I'm not even sure what's going down there. B blind guy with stick. End Enderman with stick, just chilling. Uh, I really don't like this Pinocchio looking weird one, so I'm going to just add in two. Are they already been used? No, they haven't. There you go, look at that. Customize. Nice. And it actually makes sense for me to do ones that don't take over the entire area. Because what this allows us to do... I've got spare painting. Should we give the dog a painting? Hang on a minute. Let's go, let's go and have a look. I can put one... Up, wait, should I put one up in my bedroom? I knew there was a big one! I freaking knew there was a big... Sheesh! Look at that! I don't know. Is that, is that a bit much for my bedroom? I feel like it is. I just want to put like... I just want to put a painting down just like how I did then. Right, like this. There you go. Like Yeah, like a poster. There you go. Like I'm sleeping on the floor... I've got a poster. I've added to my bedroom. I did say I think I wanted to get that completed today, but uh, maybe not. Let's have a good night's sleep real quick. <laughs> right. I think what I want to add into this now is... Do I have any clay? Where is the clay? Where have you no clay? Wait, have I really got no clay? I I, I could, at this point in time... I'm going to empty my inventory because it looks like hell. I could simply... Just dig some clay from down here. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this boat right now. Go and go off a little bit in the distance. And then I'm going to dig. Uh, I'm going to try and find an azalea tree. Because if you see an azalea tree like that, if you dig directly under it, it means you found a lush cave. And I remember at one stage, we actually did find a lush cave, but I can't remember where it is right now. So, oh, it's the one we went through the poles, wasn't it? So I think what we should do is try and stonk up on a little bit of clay and make some pots. I don't need a lot. And I'm sure if I open up one of these again, I will see a literal clay. St oh, wait. No. Maybe, maybe maybe, I don't need to go and go, go on that adventure I said I was going to go on. I can literally make a pot here, uh, I think. Pot. There you go. Pot. There you go. I made the pot. Let me throw away this cobblest cobblestone real quick. That can all go in there. This can go in there. I now need a lovely flower. It would be nice to go make some more pots, but make a flower. Oh, I could put cactus in it as well, can't I? Or cacti. And then I go over here and I go ink. And then I go funk. Look at that. It's freaking lovely, that is. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and I think this works. I could maybe mix up the, you know, the background colour like I did earlier. So I can do like, uh, give me that. And like this. Bit of that. Kind of textures it again like we, we like we said previously. Bit of this. Bit of that. Bit of this. Bit of that. There you go. Adds adds to the bit of feng shui. I don't know. I don't even need mossy cobblestone in here. I think that this might be a this might be a, a, a bridge too far. It's gonna be a bit too much. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you know what? Maybe it adds to it. Maybe it adds to the va va voom. I like this. I think we've done an absolutely cracking job. We could maybe clean up the top section. Oh, I guess what we could do up there is with this and the remainder of these I've got. Give me that and quickly. How do I get up there now? I don't know. I need ender pills on, 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 on deck. Alright, hang on a minute. Uh, oh. Yeah! That is pain. That is absolute pain. Now, I, haven't got, I haven't got one single block left. Right, Tree, you've been here a long time. 
Forestation's coming your way. Thank you. Sorry. I'm an idiot. I know. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Ugh. Oh, heck. That was just not even worth it. All right. Put you there. And then, like this. Now I can get over there. Okay. Be oh, God. This. <laughs> this looks hellish. I do you know what we could do? We could actually put, like, the dirt in here. And then... Wait. Can I do this? Yeah, I can put the dirt in there. And then if I replace this block with this... I can then spread it, right? Yes! Yeah, so let's fill it all, in, all with dirt. Okay, like that. And then... I don't know if I want it to there. And then like that. And just keep spreading it. Yeah! Like a virus! But a good one! We shouldn't talk about viruses in 2022, not gonna lie. Probably not the best idea. And I put you there. And then spread it. Oh! It's really good. And then we can actually go like this and spread it along there. So then the edge of this that we see is now no longer just dirt. Heck yeah. Oh, sorry. I guess you I guess you could put that in. I guess that kind of works. Oh, I'll tell you what we can add where we can add this. Into here as well. Ready? Magic cobblestone, magic cobblestone. Oh, hang on. In your face, that one. Like there as well. And like there. That. And here at the back. Okay, didn't mean to get rid of that. Awkward. Put something back there, please. Okay, put a carpet. There we go. The 16 clicks I finally got there. Get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. This looks good. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Uh, maybe. That looks good. Maybe. One up there. I want to put too much, but I do want to make it look like it's, you know, it's growing. It's leaking. It looks quite... Quite good. Yeah, that make that will make sense there. And there. Put one up there. And then where it's touching the building, perhaps? Yeah, look at this. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have bloody thought? I guess I could put some of this in here as well. Or is this going to end up being, like, too much? What happens it? Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. Put another one. Oh. What was that? What the hell? Oh, that was my drip leaf that I put down. <laughs> I put it down because I thought it might be a cool feature and it ended up just chucking me off the edge. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, this... I don't like this one. Back. back. And... Anywhere else? Should we... Do we need to... Is that, is that enough? We don't want to overdo... I think we've overdone it. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I think, we've, I think we overdid that there. And that. You're just over, overdoing it just a, a wee tad. Just a wee tad you're overdoing it by. I like this. This looks good. We've done a cracking job. I am the king of texture and depth now. Come at me, boys. Come at me. I actually like to point out, um, I've successfully not died this episode, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna take a moment to put down the episode. I believe is it is it is it twelve? It's from episode twelve. Yep, the episode twelve winner, who is going to be a shout out to Matt Jones. Which if you guys want a shout out, all you gotta do is leave a comment down below. It can be about anything. It can be something uh, making fun of me, laughing at me, complimenting the video, what the build, whatever it be. Um, and you may end up on the wall of legends because Matt Jones said. I'm a grown-ass man, and you've inspired me to start playing Minecraft. Uh, don't die as much as you thought. Uh, don't, oh, don't, don't die as much as you, though. Oh, right, well, I didn't realize when I picked this one that it was like a compliment and then an insult at the same time. But he said, awesome video. Keep up the good work. So, Matt, thank you very much for that. I wish you all the best with uh, playing Minecraft and making videos. That is absolutely epic. You've made it to the Wall of Legends. Hopefully soon, I'll, I'll be able to get some more glow squids to actually make these glow. But, guys, let's just do... A run through. Okay, watch this. I'm even going to do it with... This is going to make my computer lag to shit. Which I also want to ask whether or not people want to see me start using these. Because these shaders that I've got on are very, very nice. Okay. Um, and have a look of what our house now looks like. Uh, looking all textured. So let's go in F1 mode. Okay. Go in F F1 mode from the start. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So where we go. <laughs> that guy just chilling on the hill like, I fucking hate my life. All right. So we go through. It's beautiful. We've got the sheep over here. It might get a little bit laggy. I'm sorry about that, but it just is what it is. We go up into the house. It's beautiful. A little bit dark. This is why I don't use my shaders on this world. Because it is a very, very dark thing. Like, see how, like, if the sun is hitting the house from the front, it's nice and lit up. Like, look at that side over there. It's really nice. But because we've built in the shade, it's kind of like a eh. But here we go. We enter in to our beautiful building. It is gorgeous. It is lit up. And it is very, very nice. We haven't changed anything down here. Bloody hell, your eyes look glowy with this. We've now got a beautiful backside entrance. That sounded weird. Uh, that leads or will lead to 
a gorgeous bridge heading over here to where the villagers area is going to be. And we've got a gorgeous backdrop section leading to a little pond area that we've built, which looks quite nice. As well as where it's going to lead to our docks, which is going to look really, really nice. Maybe a lighthouse there, dock over there. It's going to look great. It's going to look swell. But the last, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Really glad I got a bit of building, uh, you know, kind of out there. There is a lot of this that is just pointless to, like, share with you guys. You know, the whole, like, breaking a block, placing it again, breaking a block, placing it again. Um, and that's why I kind of like doing this. Like, I've been recording this video for maybe, like, two, three hours. But I'd rather take the time to make something that I'm proud of rather than just going... Oh, I've got to cram it into a 30 minute episode or like whatever the first time I build this is, it's got to stay like that forever. I'd rather take the time like breaking it, placing it, breaking it, placing it to build something so much more beautiful because like this looks really nice and in here looks so much nicer. I think we definitely need a bit more, a uh, bit more light in here, but I might be able to do that with the, the cave. There's like a cave uh, like it's like a vine that glows. So maybe we can like pick that up with uh, silk touch uh, shears or just shears in general and then place them on the ceiling and it might add a nice bit more light. But yeah, I think we've done an absolutely cracking job with this. Uh, in the next episode, let me know what you want to see me work on, whether or not it be the dock, the lighthouse, uh, or the transport system of the train uh, system going around the area, which I said I wanted to do, or the villager area uh, up here, which is going to be a big task. But if we get it started, it could end up looking really good. So guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been great to build, like I said. Uh, looking forward to the next episode being out soon. Sorry this one took so long to get out. It was my mum's birthday, so I couldn't get the vi video recorded yesterday. But alas, here it was for your faces. So until next time, leave a like, right? click that subscribe button. Let's hope I don't die. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.